after spending two full weeks living full time in the van, we decided to ditch the van and take a vacation and come down to Costa Rica to hang out with my parents and have some quality time in the sun. Welcome to Costa Rica. We are at Casa del Vista, which means house with the view in Atillo. So this is actually my parents' house. They spent over 10 years saving, they sold the house we grew up in and moved into a tiny 800 square foot house in Minnesota so that they could build their dream home here in Costa Rica. They plan to retire here and move down here in a matter of months, which is crazy. This house has three bedrooms, three baths, a pool, Tons of open space for hosting and a lot of other really awesome details and features that we can't wait to show you in the house. The first adventure when you get to Costa Rica is the drive up to the house. So this house is a mile and a half up the mountain. You need a 4x4, four four, so otherwise you might not make it. It's pretty steep, but it's super fun. You have pretty views of the ocean and the jungle. And then when you get here, you'll get to see the beautiful views from the house. So here we go. Can't wait to show you around. why it's called the house with the view. So the view of the ocean, of the jungle, and the mountains all coming together. But before we talk too much about the pool area, let's go into the house and I'll show you around. So one of my favorite things about this house is these beautiful high ceilings with the beams going across. They use eucalyptus wood and stained it so it's dark and it looks beautiful contrasting with the lighter cedar wood. The space feels really open with the high ceiling, the door that opens all the way up. You have really big windows that let in a lot of light during the day. So now let's go check out the kitchen. So as I mentioned before, my parents love to host and my mom loves to cook. So the openness of the kitchen is perfect for both of those things. They have bar stools here at the countertop so my mom can be cooking while also entertaining some guests. So I really love their tile backsplash. It's incorporated all throughout the kitchen and even underneath the counter where the bar stools are. My dad loves wine, so of course he had to make himself an open-faced wine rack that he can store all of his bottles in. One really unique thing about houses in Costa Rica is that they store all of their fruit outside in fruit baskets because there's a lot of fruit flies and there's just a lot of bugs that are moving, especially when you have the doors open of the house. So it's better to keep it outside so the fruit stays fresh and the bugs stay out. So moving over to the living room. My parents actually rent out this house on VRBO. So in the living room, we have games and tons of movies for our guests. We even have a guest book that they can sign and write some notes in it. We have this beautiful stone top table for our coffee table that was made down here in Costa Rica. All of the canvas pictures that you see hanging up in the house were actually taken by my dad. And they're all pictures of Costa Rica. So the beautiful flowers and all the animals and just the beauty of Costa Rica, he wanted to display that into the house. And from here, Chris is gonna take you through the three bedrooms. Follow me down the hallway. All right, so we are in the master bedroom now, and one of the first things that you notice is the high ceilings stay throughout the whole house. Something else that I love is these massive windows right out of the bedroom. You can see the patio, the pool, you can look out over the mountain range, you can see the ocean right from bed, and there's even some awesome trees right outside the door where toucans hang out almost every morning. So another really cool feature about this house is there's tons of storage space. So this whole wall behind me is storage shelves and hanging storage. And there's even a little fold out tray to put your suitcases on in every bedroom. So in the master bedroom, it comes along with the master bathroom. Let's check it out. All right, 
continuing with the openness of this house, the master bathroom is huge. There's a gigantic shower with this really cool stone floor. So when you're standing in it, it feels like you're outside in nature. It's great. There's two vanities, so two people can be getting ready at the same time. My favorite part are these little sinks that look like water spigots. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but I just really love when the water like comes out and you can kind of see it. Just different than a normal sink faucet. I like that. <laughs> if showering's not for you, there's also a big tub in the back of the bathroom. There's stone all around that. You could light some candles, grab a bottle of wine, enjoy your time in the tub alone. And one other neat little feature in here is just this really cool stone wall shelving unit. Um, there's some cute little fish decorations and the stone from the floor in the shower is on the wall there. Let's go check out the guest bedrooms. So as we walk past the living room towards the guest bedrooms, one of the things that I love to look at are these gigantic windows facing the mountain side of the house. So the plants in Costa Rica are also vibrant in color and they have huge leaves. It's a rainforest and this is not something that you see growing up in Massachusetts. Also in the hallway on the way to the bedrooms is more of that artwork that Jesse talked about. There's sloths, there's other animals, just a lot of really cool nature each bedroom has its own access point to the pool patio area, and each room has its own little set of hooks to dry your towels and your swimsuits right outside your door. Both guest bedrooms have plenty of storage space, just like the master bedroom. All right, so the first bedroom on your right as you're walking down the hallway um, is Jesse's brother's room, or guest bedroom number one. It's a little bit smaller than the second one, but still an awesome view of the patio and the pool area. Uh, gigantic high ceilings that are really interesting. So the guest bathroom is just as cool as the master bathroom. It's a huge shower with a stone floor, a half wall, so you get that open feeling. What I thought was really cool is this sink design. It has an open front. It looks like a book that's open. It's like a V. All right, let's head into the third and final bedroom. Like the other bedrooms, there's a lot of cool design aspects that are incorporated throughout this bedroom, like the high ceilings, the beautiful woodwork, tons of storage space, and three sets of windows where we can look out, see the pool, the mountains, and the ocean, all from the comfort of our own bed. Let's go through the patio doors, and Jesse's going to show you the outdoor space. Well, as you can see, we have these lovely chairs to sit and enjoy the sun. Could stay here all day, but there's more to see. So, let's start by walking over to the outdoor bathroom and outdoor shower. So we have this wonderful outdoor bathroom. This bathroom is perfect when you're playing out in the pool and you're all wet. You don't have to track water throughout the house. So I love the door to the outdoor bathroom. The three palm trees is a really nice touch. And the outdoor bathroom is very bright and tropical. You have some beautiful pictures of sand and stones. You have a bamboo shelf. It's all you need for an outdoor bathroom. Heading over to the outdoor shower. So as we walk over to the outdoor shower, you'll see we have a grill that gets a whole lot of use. And then you round the corner, you have all these bushes that actually block anyone else from seeing you use the outdoor shower. And voila. So we have stone floors in this shower that also matches the stone floors in the two showers in the house. And I love, love, love using the outdoor shower every time I'm here just because it's such beautiful weather and it's really blocked off so you feel comfortable, it's private. Who wouldn't love an outdoor shower? All right, so now let's go check out my favorite part of the outdoor space, the pool. Right, 
we've made it to the pool deck. We have an infinity pool that looks straight out to the ocean. And it has a swim up bar with four stools. So when Chris Kelly is here, he's my bartender. I make him stay back in the bar and makes me drinks all day long. It's pretty perfect. So we have these three big palm trees. And actually when we built the house, we planted them and they were only about this high and now they've grown and they're huge. And the space off to my right and that wonderful sun deck that I was just hanging out at, my mom plans to build a big outdoor kitchen. She loves to cook and host, as I mentioned before. That's to come in the future, hopefully sooner rather than later. On the other side of the pool deck behind me, we plan to expand that so it will be more of a sun area to hang out with more lawn chairs than just two. All around the sun deck, we have hammocks. So we have two swinging hammock chairs, and then we have one big hammock. Every single morning, I like to wake up grab a cup of good Costa Rican coffee and sit in one of the hammock chairs and read my book as I watch the sunrise. And it's just peaceful watching the toucans and maybe even some monkeys. So at night, we spend a lot of time hanging out by the pool and we have lights in the pool that change colors. We have three jets that arc into the pool and at night those also change colors. And by the palm trees, we have these solar powered little lanterns. And it just looks really cool as a really good ambiance with the lights in the pool and the lanterns by the palm trees. So now I'm gonna take you over to the other side to talk a little bit more about our outdoor space. So we spend a good amount of our time underneath the awning in some of the seating area at this big table or in the comfy couches, playing cards, reading books, or just sitting back relaxing and enjoying the shade. So the coffee table we have out by these couches is a custom made leather top with some beautiful carvings of toucans and the Costa Rica. At both ends of the house we have these really unique gutters that are the shapes of a flower. So when it rains, you can see it really overflowing the top of the flowers and it just looks really pretty coming down. And with that, that's the whole house tour. So we're gonna spend the rest of the day hanging out by the pool, swimming. Chris is gonna make me lots of drinks. He's my little bartender for the week, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> um, and yeah, just eat some good food and hang out, enjoy the sun. Here goes nothing. Thank you.